Hey guys, today I'm going to fill this huge gap in this wood molding and carve it like a sculpture to make it like it was never there. Watch till the end to see how that goes. Before doing anything, I need to secure this molding. It's uh, loose, moving. I'm gonna put a couple of nails. Much better, it's all secured. Here are some tools and materials. This is a piece of styrofoam. I'm going to use them to fill up the gap a little bit. And some carving uh, tools. I may not be needing them all, but I just keep them just by my side just in case. My first plan was to use bondo. I like bondo a lot, but it smells horribly if you're familiar with bondo so you need to ventilate the room really really good and it's freezing outside right now and i think around 20 fahrenheit and there is no way i can keep the windows open all day and i have plastic wood i usually go with this but then i read some good reviews about this product online and I wanted to give it a try so I'm always open for new products it's low order which is good and it's for exterior interior and paintable we'll see if people are rightly raving about this product let's go use it just look at this monstrosity I inherited from countertop people but thankfully I can fix it I saw some people using paper to fill the large gaps, but I don't want to put organic matter, so I'd rather go with styrofoam type of material. So I'm going to put a couple of screws into the wood because that way wood filler has something to grab on. They will act like an anchor, so I'm not going to drive it all the way in. Reason we are filling the gap with different material rather than wood filling is that if you put too much of a wood filling it will just fo take forever to dry so that's why you need some kind of a cushioning in the back and also you don't waste your material i want to clear the loose paint along this molding this area gets only caulk not wood filler taping is a good idea to keep the surface clean I literally struggle to open this little container. Okay, so I am getting a generous amount of uh, wood filler because the gap is large. Even though I filled it with uh, stuff, it's, it's gonna get a lot of material. You wanna push the material all the way in, leaving no empty gaps in this airspace push it in towards the screw so it goes around it and fill it up that's all I have to do just fill up the gap at the moment I'm not worried about the shape of it uh, right now I'm just worried about the getting the filler inside the gap that pretty flower is from my friend Asya I love the color created a nice background I am almost done with the first coat, so I'm going to let this dry for several hours, I guess. Well, it turned out I had to wait overnight because I had too much material. It just wouldn't dry. The second coat is not going to take that much, so I'm just going to put a very thin layer over. It's already almost uh, got the shape. I just need to put fill the gaps a little bit. I have some dents, some empty spots. And also I want to remove the tape so no material is stick to it so I don't remove it when I remove the tape but I'm going to retape it again. Now I'm ready for the second coat. You want to put little bit more than you need so you can sand it down to the shape but not too much. This material is going to get hard and it will take a lot of effort to sand it. So a little more but not much and also I'm trying to shape it, give the shape now. And I like this tool better than others, it's really useful. I 
I'm done applying the second coat. I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours before I start sanding it. It's ready to be sanded, nice and dry. I'm using my sanding block because it has the profile f uh, that matches. I'm going to use this sharp edge of the sanding block to give the shape. Don't forget to put some mask and eye protection for this step. And also this step takes some elbow grease. So get ready for some work guys. And I don't know if you can see it. It starts snowing again. It's like unreal. This year it never stopped. It just never quit. It keeps snowing. So I'm going to have to go out and shovel amount of snow I shoveled this year is unreal. My arms are so sore from that. Even sanding is such a big task right now. By the way, it will be great to get a thumbs up from you guys. If you like the video, of course. That really helps me a lot. I am almost done with sanding. Overall, I am happy with how it turned out. But just a little bit here. Can you see it? Little bit there and little bit over here. My hands are dirty. So I'm just going to sand this again and start painting. I'm just going to paint this just for demonstration purposes. Otherwise, I need to paint the walls, all the moldings. But just to show you how it turned out. Let's caulk this ugly detail also so it will show better. And there. How do you like it, guys? I know it's not perfect. Don't judge me now. It looks perfect from distance. But as you get closer, then you see imperfections like this. But I need to save my energy for snow shoveling. So I'm going to live with that. Here is before and after. What do you think, guys? huge improvement right it looks so much nicer once i finish painting the walls and the trim it will look even better thank you for watching and let me know if this helps you in the comments below uh, i would be happy to hear from you guys and don't forget to follow my kitchen makeover on a budget as it progresses this is part of that series i will see you in the next video soon Bye.